I'm Samantha Bornson, past president of the Winnipeg section. And my name is Darren Verasamy, and I'm the Emerging Professionals Chair for the IES Toronto section. And we are here interviewing attendees at the 2018 IES Annual Conference here in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the networking. It's at events like this where you catch up with all the friends that you've known for years and meeting new people that have come in the industry. There's just so much energy and excitement. It's a great opportunity to reconnect. It's great to connect with people you don't see as regularly. Um, also, I just have a more appreciation of what I'm learning and taking away from it. Um, overall, I've found uh, the, the opening planner session amazing and um, I'm just enjoying a lot of the different events. It's the networking with other peers. I think the best way to learn is to surround yourself with uh, other individuals that are working to uh, have the same goals and aspirations. I joined the IES as a student and then when I was just starting my career there were IES members who helped me along. Um, in fact, one of the IES presidents helped me find my first job and then he encouraged me that uh, you know I should get involved with the IES. Just the opportunity to come to this conference and meet incredible people like Howard Branston. Uh, the way you actually can connect with industry leaders that you probably wouldn't meet otherwise. The IES is, to me, enjoying a renaissance and a rebirth in many ways. After having struggled with all the stuff we went through between LEDs and better codes and standards and better initiatives, I think we're getting to be a really good IES now. And today, the presentation this morning, uh, the program last night, I think should, should show. Um, the other thing, and one last thing, is the awards program. The awards program is beginning increasingly better every year, every year, every year. Last night was the best awards program the IES has had that I've ever been to. It makes it worthwhile to come to conferences because you not only can do networking with people, but it allows us to uh, you know, really, really learn things and, and, uh, and interact with a lot more of these younger folks. The paper sessions, lots of interesting paper sessions. It's so hard to diff to choose between the two papers or three papers that are have, like presenting at the same time. So it's always like quality uh, research work and very in depth. So that's the best thing that I really like about our IES conference. Everyone's friendliness, to be honest. There's no like competitiveness or anything. Everyone comes in with open arms, willing to give advice and help out with you know, future recommendations and <laughs> anything else. Yesterday I had, uh, I attended the gala and the speech was so fantastic and energized for me. Uh, this is the first time for me to um, penetrate into American market. So this is a wonderful time. Thank you. The technical skills that I need for my career, because I'm a lighting designer, so um, coming to these conferences, uh, that's been huge and I, I can take those things that I learned at the conference and bring them back to my coworkers and, and share that information with them. So that's been really helpful for me. I do a lot with customer education and um, with customer information and supporting our, our folks in the field and their customers. And the need for information and education has never been more uh, acute than it is in the world of solid state lighting. And IES has a more important role to play in that regard as well. Um, so really just the information that you can glean from functions like this is, is critical to what I do almost on a daily basis. I think it's very valuable and the fact that we have I think a hundred emerging professionals here this year is really amazing. They're the future of our industry so we have to get um, the younger people involved because they have a whole different view on this lighting world than I do. So far, the networking has been amazing. It's allowing me to grow and expand in ways that I've never thought were achievable in my lifetime. Both the manufacturers and the design community where they come together, and uh, with all the committees that you see going on and all the various topics, uh, it's a place that's just unlimited for learning about lighting, unlimited. I first joined IES when I was uh, just fresh graduated from uh, University of Colorado. And then the, every time I go to IES, I'm, I was totally excited because I, I was uh, very fortunate to be able to mentor by a lot of the very, the, the, the greatest uh, uh, luminaries in the lighting industry. Um, I, I talked to um, David DeLora, I, I talked to uh, Richard Blackwell and Dominic Spencer, you know, people that's uh, 
that I that I read about when I was uh, when I was in school. It's uh, an active association that people in the lighting and industry stay involved in. Um, they put on a better conference than the, than the other the other conferences that happen in the lighting industry. I've enjoyed the networking piece of it. I mean, what really surprises me is the the international aspect of everyone I've met here. I mean individuals from Canada. Um, I've even met someone trying to start a, an IES chapter in Africa, in Sudan, which is amazing to think of. Um, so these individuals who are in the same position I am and trying to build up their own careers in the lighting industry, uh, it's just seeing how expansive uh, you know, the opportunities are here. Uh, that's, I think that, that's my favorite part about the meeting, honestly, just so many opportunities to connect with so many different people. The opportunity for exposure, being able to learn new things, see new people, um, learn from areas of the business outside the silo that you work in. It's just a fantastic opportunity. Don't miss it. It's not worth missing it. What else are you doing if you're not? Come on.